Hello adventurers, welcome to this series of old school RuneScape videos where we explore everything about the game of course not all in one go. In this video, we will be learning about the Binding Necklace and all about it. The Binding Necklace is used in everyone's favorite skill runecrafting. While I have never partaken in runecrafting besides that one time, in a dark alley behind KFC, I took it upon myself to test out and showcase this necklace for you the viewers. The Binding Necklace was introduced to the game with the RuneCraft update and tweaks on June 13th, 2005, which also introduced the RuneCrafting Tyaras as well as the NPC the Zamrakian Mage known for killing innocent RuneCrafters across the land of RuneScape. In order to make the Binding Necklace from scratch players will need to have a crafting level of 29 and a magic level of 27. When the player has an uncut emerald gold bar and a necklace mold in the inventory, the player can go to a nearby furnace and have the option to make an emerald necklace. This will give the player 60 crafting experience. After the player has made the base necklace, they can enchant it using the level 2 enchant in their spellbook. If they have a 1 cosmic rune a 3 air runes in their inventory, this will grant the player a whooping 37 magic experience. Like the game's necklace, this item does not give any boosted stats, but does give a plus one to your fashion scape, one being the worst. The binding necklace can be sold to the general store for a total of 570 gold pieces at the time of recording the necklace can be sold to other players on the grand exchange for 1,143 GP. If the player wishes to low out the necklace, they will receive the same as the general store. 570 GP. If they used high alchemy, the amount of gold given to the player would be 855. Moving forward, the binding necklace is dropped by abyssal monsters like the abyssal sire slayer boss, abyssal guardian, abyssal leech, and the abyssal walker and only those located in the abyss. I personally have seen many of binding necklace drops from the abyssal sire and cry myself to sleep every night because I can't get the last piece to my abyssal bludgeon. The necklace can be used to make combination runes 16 times, and after that, it disintegrates into nothing, just like the time spent actually runecrafting. The charges are kept via the players, so if the last necklace you had, had 5 remaining charges, and you put that necklace into the bank and took a new one fresh out of the bank, it would have 5 charges until you used all the charges up or broke the necklace resetting the charges to 16. You cheapskates of RuneScape don't befold casting alchemy on this necklace with one charge remaining will not reset the charges back to 16. The binding necklace is a must-have when making combination runes because if you didn't use it you would basically waste your pure essence as there is not a guarantee that you'll make every essence into a rune, you literally fail at rune crafting. The binding necklace makes this a 100% guarantee that every pure essence is crafted into a combination rune. As you can see I was using the magic imbue spell and as a side note that spell on is only useful so you don't have to carry a talisman to actually craft the combination runes. I know this sounds a bit confusing and trust me it is. It took me half a day to write this script for this necklace even after reading the wiki my eight brain could not handle it. After all this time making this video. I can now consider myself a master rune crafter and will retire early, nevertheless the best rune crafting XP is from Tears of Guthix because I don't have to think about it. That's all I have for today's video but if you enjoyed this type of content subscribe and like or dislike it as it does help with visibility and lets me know your opinion on the video itself if you have a suggestion of what I should make a video on next leave a comment if you don't have a suggestion leave your earliest memory of RuneScape in the comments below. I love to hear them. This is All Ranger and I will see you in the next video.